Good evening, and welcome back to Chateau Del Nick. It's been a good long time since we've had a service broadcast broadcast here from my office here in in um, the Boudoir del Brown. Uh, but uh, it is a pleasure to welcome each and every one of you back here to my place. Uh, so please feel welcome. Make yourselves at home. Take the weight off your slingbacks. We haven't got to worry about putting chairs out or washing up cups. You can do that yourself or stick it in the dishwasher. Uh, but, of course, uh, we are here tonight to celebrate spirit, really, as we always do. And so we are having this special service um, to celebrate the life of a very good friend of ours who literally served this church a year ago tomorrow it is such a, a, a quick turnaround of time since the wonderful uh, one and only kevin hale served us here last year and to be able to share with both new and familiar faces the the work of a great gentleman and a great exponent of spirit is an absolute honor and privilege to be able to show you all what it is to be a good and genuine medium to have a kind heart to have a uplifting soul and to create a a wonderful buzz whenever someone walks into the room and so a little bit later on uh, the service will be taken over by kevin again um he will take over um, and we've got it all downloaded and ready. But we are going to have a bit of a normal service up until that point. But of course, remembering our good friend Kevin Hales, who passed to the spirit life since last we met. And I know that he is going to be keeping everyone busy upstairs. I know he's going to be causing havoc and has been causing havoc and keeping everyone uplifted. And that's really what it's all about, about celebrating life, not feeling so lost. Because as much as we do feel that loss, it's only because we've had the experience of sharing that journey with them that we feel the way we do. And that is a sign of how wonderful people are when they cross our path. So um, a quick hello. We've said uh, we've seen my message that can't spell properly very well. Um, we've said hello, of course, to the lovely Shelley and, of course, Facebook user. Uh, we've got the lovely Dawny Walden with us and um, Facebook users engaging as well. Um, welcome, of course, to the lovely AD and a Kaza. Welcome to the show. Having a chat with my mother. So. I'm wondering if one of the Facebook users is actually my mother. Um, Daniel, Daniel's with us. Hey, up, mate. And uh, yes, so tonight, what are we doing? We're having a, a semi-normal order of service. We're going to have a reading from Reverend Allen. We are going to have some healing. And then we're going to hand over the service, of course, to Kevin Hales. But first. But first as many of you will know our girl our elsa our wonderful wonderful bully special prize master hannah has been very poorly and i know that she is overjoyed with the well wishing the healing and the upliftment being sent but everyone keeps saying how is our Elsa. Well, I tell you what, with the magic of technology and with a little bit of love and upliftment, let's have a quick drum roll and ask her herself. Hannah, are you there? Hey! Hey! How are you doing, doll? Yes. Are they looking after you? Yes. Good. You do sound a little bit rough on the voice still, to be fair, but that's understandable, darling. Nice, no, good. Nice, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine, Nick. Dad, 
Hello, Dad. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good. The mum's just turned and, up. And mother's just turned up too. Hi, Sam. Good to see you all. Yeah. Well, I know everyone is going to be over the moon to be able to see you. In actual fact, the comments are already starting to flow in. Um, uh, so... Oh, she's got some trophy oh, bruises. Bruises. Oh, trophy bruises. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Everywhere. <laughs> now, I know that there have been lots of cards bunged in the post over the last few days, so I hope you're going to decorate your room. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, 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 good. And um, everyone, of course, does send their love and healing thoughts and well wishes. So... How long do you think you're going to be stuck in there? Mm. How long do you think, Mum? Well, if Hannah continues yeah. being a star, she is mm -hmm. with the CPAP mask that she has to wear on the night time. So her new name's going to be Daft <laughs> Um We hopefully might get yeah. released yeah. at the weekend. Wow, that is awesome. Which we were told today yeah. was a bit scary. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, no, I'm really. Yeah. But we do want to go home. Yeah. But it just seems a bit scary. Yeah. So, um... Of course. Well, it's it's been a it's been a wild ride for certain, yeah. let's be honest. Yeah, it certainly yeah. has. No. But uh, we want to get this girl home. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, well, let's put it this way. Nobody can announce a bully special prize yeah. like you, Hannah, so you've definitely got to come yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's uh, yeah. keen to get back. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know, the thing is, uh, it was uh, a, an uncertainty, so I didn't yeah. announce inviting yourselves on tonight, yeah. but I know Everyone is going to be over the moon to see you, Hannah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, isn't it? yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we hope, we do hope that you coming up and seeing us has made you feel a little bit better yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. You would yes. have done it yeah. otherwise, would you? Yes. Yeah. No, no. This is you're going to say she wouldn't have done it if she didn't want to. Let's be honest. No, no. no you, we know good. this. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you weren't. We're in another yeah. new room. A new, another new room. Wow, yeah, bless you. <laughs> I, I hope you're. I hope you're not giving them too much mischief while yeah. you're there, Hannah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> she just tells them the queen, and she's yeah. a queen, and then there you go. So, what, what can you say? <laughs> queen Elsa. Yeah. Queen Elsa, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you so, so much for coming yeah. on, all, all three of you. It's yes. so good to see yes. you all. Yes. Well, I will say, see Sam and Hannah here, Dad, and his see his hand. Um, <laughs> there we go. Oi, oi. I'm cameraman. <laughs> Ab absolutely. So it is so great to see you all. And yes. I know oh. everyone's going to be so relieved to see you back in charge. Yes. So. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you have a rest and yeah. do stay in here. And if yeah. you if you feel up to yeah. it, we'll have you back at the end to say yeah. good night. If that's all right. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Excellent. Yeah. All right then, we'll yeah. see you soon. God yeah. bless, Here's darling. Good. Thanks, Nick. Bye, bye all. Bye Love bye. you. Bye bye. Well, you weren't expecting that tonight, now, were you? What a wonderful, wonderful way of bringing a little bit of love and upliftment to show that one of our friends is on the mend and that really really matters but of course to tonight um i'm not actually gonna do any philosophy because i don't need to because i recall that some philosophy was given by our medium for this evening so um i'm gonna let him is, is bear with is that the painter don't know what that means. You'll have to clarify, Shelley, bless you. Um, I'm a bit in compass mentors tonight. Um, but yes, um, to, 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 it is absolutely a blessing to see Hannah getting much better. Um, and, you know, keep the comments coming in because she'll see them. I'll, I'll make sure of it. Um, the girl. Ah, uh, yes, it is. Yes. Um, so to explain for everyone who doesn't know, um, Hannah is the one who provides the encaustic art every week at Littleport. 
Um, so yes, uh, I, I get what you mean now, Shelley. Sorry, it's been a long day. Um, and hello to Sam Neil. Welcome to you. And you're very welcome, Shelley. So let's kick this mem uh, service off and remember a really, really great man, a wonderful friend and a really good medium. And so we're going to go straight in uh, by saying those magic words, getting our reading and asking Reverend Allen, are you there? I certainly am. Good evening, little port. Good evening, everybody that's, that's joined us and will join us later on. I hope you enjoy this uh, celebration. Um, I picked this reading this morning, uh, both guided by spirit and I have to admit, um, by myself as well. Uh, and I'm sure Kevin will, will actually like it. Are you sure to be listening from above? It's called Weep Not For Me. Weep not for me, though I am gone, into that gentle night. Grieve if you will, but not for long, upon my soul's sweet flight. I am at peace, my soul at rest. There is no need for tears, for with your love, I was so blessed for all those many years. There is no pain, I suffer not. The fear now all is gone. Put now these things out of your thoughts. In your memory, I live on. Remember not my, my fight for breath. Remember not the strife. Please do not dwell upon my death, but celebrate my life. Thank you. And with absolute gusto like that, definitely the man is about tonight. He's, he's got to be because that's the kind of oomph, the kind of gusto, the kind of upliftment that I know Kevin always provides when he's around. Alan, thank you. Um, I You're totally welcome. agree. I totally agree, Sam. It's beautiful. It really, really is. And it definitely, definitely sums up. Um, it definitely sums up our mate Kevin. And, and he really is a good friend um, and a good friend to everyone who knows him. Absolutely. Um, and yes, it may well be noted by many people as something familiar that you read tonight. It is used so often in memorials and funerals. Um, and rightly so, because we do need reminding, don't we, that we should celebrate that chance Absolutely. to have been together. Absolutely. Bless you. Well, Alan, thank you so much for coming on tonight so and picking welcome. a reading. Um, we are, if you would feel uh, kind enough to stay with me, we're going to do some healing now. Um, okay. We are going to default to the, 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 the old style. Um, as there's nobody around to lay hands on tonight. Um, but we should, of course, send out our healing thoughts. And in actual fact, uh, we send our healing thoughts, of course, to uh, Sam and Hannah and Dad and, of course, Jack and, you know, Henry Bully and Waffle, because um, they've all been through it um, quite a lot. Um and, of course, we send our thoughts out to Margaret Hales, who actually gave me permission to do tonight. Um, I thought it important to ask permission. Um, it, it's not something that she would potentially feel comfortable stumbling upon um, mid-sentence if she was flicking through the Internet. Um, without forewarning, I feel it's, it's polite to do so. Um, but she was over the moon. So, Margaret, if you are watching um love and good thoughts to you um and so now friends let's join together um as we send out our healing thoughts to all those who are sick and suffering and in need of comfort uh, we'll begin with the healing prayer have our healing silence and then end with the word amen just as we did um back in the day so let's join together friends and say great spirit father mother god here we bring unto you all those who are sick and suffering and in need of comfort. 
be they sick in mind, body or spirit, that it may please thee to heal them. This we ask for those we know, for those we do not know, and those who have no one to ask for them. We ask for them now. Thank you, uh, everyone, uh, for sending out your healing thoughts. And, of course, we showed it whilst everyone was meditating. We will continue to show it again. Um, yes, Kaza, of course. Um, and there were people listening, as there always is. And I know one man who will be listening right now, a very good friend of this church, a very good friend to spiritualism in general and a wonderfully uplifting, funny, joyful character who gives such beautiful evidence. And it is an absolute honour and privilege to be able to share it again with the world. Uh, so join with me now as we welcome, not only onto the stream, but from the world of spirit, knowing what he's like, he'll probably be sitting in your living room, kicking your backside if you need it. Let's welcome to the platform our medium for this evening, Kevin Hales. Thank you, everyone. Well, um, now it gives me great pleasure to hand over the rest of this evening to a, a wonderful man. He's been here before. He definitely has a long road getting from there to here, uh, but he's finally here too. So friends, give a big 
Littleport welcome. Your medium for the evening, Kevin Hayes. <laughs> I'll just take my jacket off. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I'll just take this off if I may. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can do, yeah. Yeah. I'll keep my trousers on. Is that all right? <laughs> Is this okay? All right, okay. In any case, well, first of all, just give me five minutes to just have a few words with you. First of all, thank Nick and all the workers behind the scene, your church here tonight, to give me the opportunity to come along here again. I've had a break over two years. We're now getting ourselves back in momentum to get spiritualism moving again. It's been a bit of a, a rough time. We know that. There's a lot of people been very ill. There's a lot of people moved on to spirit. We understand the difficulties that they may have incurred and they've needed our help and prayers. I have a little healing book at home and uh, there's been lots of names entered in there. And I'm a great believer in the power of prayer because that is our link with spirit. It's like us getting on the line to BT and making a link to make a phone call. We need a connection. And thank goodness the connection that we've uh, had to adapt ourselves to keep spirit very much alive and well to help us on this difficult journey. But I'd just like to say thanks to each and every one of you who have come along here tonight, whether it's to see me or whether it's to see the church and get the vibrations, just a thank you. And I think all mediums should say, Thank you, because without your support and help, well, I'd probably be out of a job. But so we need each other to help us to bounce along. And I hope this evening will enlighten you in some way, perhaps bring us close together in love. And we've got plenty of light here to show us the way as in spirit. And uh, also here, it's been a quite a long journey for me to come here. My wife and I, we got on our bike on Monday, and we arrived here tonight. So that had been quite a journey. But we've come here safe and sound. And uh, in, in all fairness, I like to, to lift the service, if we can, to send out our energies together. May it bounce off each and every one of us here. No matter what, if we can lift the vibrations and lift your heart, so be it. Now, I expect a lot of you have never seen me before. Well, I am real. I'm not a puppet. I am, I am a human being. And uh, I'm blessed with the wonderful gift of mediumship. And I've been working for over 50 years now, believe it. When I first started, I had jet black hair. And now I've matured through my work and I've gone silver. So I must be worth something, I suppose, in a roundabout way, through the experiences I've had. And I've had some lovely experiences. And I've enjoyed the work. I've traveled many, many miles and met a lot of people on my journey in 50 years. And I'm proud to be a medium. If I had my life over again, I wouldn't change this gift for anything. Some things in our life we would change and some we wouldn't. But this is a precious gift. You know, it's unobtainable. You can't even buy it if you're a millionaire. Because money doesn't come into the equation. Thank God it doesn't. Because this is a very special gift that we have. And if we wanted to develop it and move on, so be it. But has helped me a lot, helped my wife, helped my family in difficult times. But I'm here to say to you, spirit exists. If that didn't, my friends, I wouldn't be here. That's as simple as that. So with the proof that they have and the lovely experiences I've had with my guides and inspirers, it's been absolutely wonderful. 
just tell you one more thing because I'm sure most of you haven't seen me work, but I do have a little spirit boy who works with me, and he's been with me two-thirds of my life. <clears throat> he's only four or five years of age, and he goes by the name of David, and he's traveled with me for two-thirds of my life. I don't know whether he adopted me with my other <laughs> inspirers or helpers, or I've adopted him. But I look upon him as a part of my spirit family so very, very much. And he has been my aide as well as my other inspirers for many years. So I've learned a lot through the eyes of a child and what they know in spirit and what they can achieve. So should we come to you, all we ask is, be truthful to us and to yourself. If you don't understand what we're saying, then tell us. Don't go out that door tonight and say it's a waste of time. We want to work in light and truth so you understand exactly what we're trying to give you. I can't guarantee I'm going to give you a great aunt, uncle, aunt, cousin, your mom and dad. I can't say that because all this work is unrehearsed. So wherever we go, now you just send a loving thought back. And one more thing, which is very, very special, which Nick didn't mention, should anything go wrong here tonight, and there's a fire, please, please let me be the first one at that door. <laughs> because there is, there is a shortage of mediums. So bear that in mind. That's all I asked. No more. So let's find out uh, where we don't know where we're going at the moment, but we're coming in here. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I want to come to you, lady. Come talk to you. Is that all right? I don't know what we're going to say to you, but he's drawn. <laughs> you know, with air defenders or air muffs, I don't know whether you've got them, but he's put a pair on you. Oh, that's it. That's, I don't want to know no more. That is my link with you. And in a nice way, <laughs> that, that they do two things. They do protect your ears as well as keep them warm. But would you understand if we said to you, in all around you, would you understand a lot of back chatting? Um, I'm not sure Well, I, I'll tell you how I feel. <laughs> I feel I'm a bit wary to who I would like to trust. That's the only thing to say to you. But I, I get this coming in here, just an awareness. And sometimes it's a good thing to shut off our ears. Do you find me? Do you understand me? And this is what that comes in here as he put these little earmuffs on you. And he's saying, lady, don't pay any attention. Also here, he tells me symbolically, it's like a duck, water off a duck's back. You don't want to carry it, because it doesn't do anyone any good. But somewhere in, within your family here, I feel there is, there's been an ongoing unsettlement. Can I put it to you like that? This is how I feel here, but we, power of prayer is a big thing to help to move the energies on, because I feel here, my feet are in mud, and I feel as though I wanted to free that and move on. But this is how that comes in very much around you. Now, also here, lady, I don't know. Uh, would, would, you, uh, would you understand either coming into contact with someone who may, uh, what should I feel a psychic ability here, either, um, either with tarot cards or p pendulums, anything like this? Well, that's fine. You know. That's what I don't know. But this is what he's shown me here. I've got a, a deck of cards and I've got a pen between and think, oh, please, God, can we have a message and what will it be today? Nothing is guaranteed because we are a message or what we hope could come in from a different way, a different form. But it's nice to think, as we know, there are many, many ways in spirit to reach a Godhead of life. And this is how I feel with you. Keep your options open. Don't shut yourself up. Are you with me? 
<laughs> Let's to be quick. Now, also here, lady. Uh, he showed me here. She's shutting the door. Now, maybe as we go along the through, shutting the door, keeping my own um, own space. Is if it didn't right, say so. But I feel so. What he's telling me here, lady, shut door, keep yourself safety, and all your thoughts are yours, and you haven't got to share them too far afield. And these come in here is a very spiritual thought. Hang on a minute. Oh, lady, wait a minute. Could we give you a, a pussycat in spirit? Hey, little boy, say, hey, come. And he comes in here. Now, I don't know whether you sent him in your home. I said, what is it? Because he tells me here, this pussycat, <laughs> he says here, lady, when you shut the door, sometimes you're not on your own in your room. Because I feel I've got the presence of a pussycat come round. And you know how they come round, they curl the tail and they, they do all this sort of thing. Affection. Let's take this one step further. <laughs> Don't take this wrong, because I feel here, lady, you're an affectionate person. I know you. Little boy say you love everyone to bits. But that's got its good side and it's got its downside is don't give everything away. What we have, all these senses are very precious. So the little message is for you. Keep in touch with spirit in your own way. And before I leave you, uh, lady, uh, do you understand lighting a candle? I know, little boy, say she light candle. I got all these lights, and then she go light candle. So you're very much in tune with spirit. So I'm going to leave that with you. I'll give you the pussy cat. It come free of charge. There's no food to be done, no litter trays. He's per spirit, but he comes in here. Oh. <laughs> I saw you draw away from you. Lady, would you have a, a cuddly toy in bed? Um, I've got teddy bears. Oh, that's what he say. He say she got a cuddly toy, lady. <laughs> They're the best ones. They don't talk back to you. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that with you. And thank you for coming. I do appreciate that. And welcome with us. Right. Uh, I took... Talk to you, brother. I talk to you. No, you. Yeah, you're the handsome one. Sorry about that. <laughs> but we need to talk to you. Anyway, that's, as, we, as we come here, uh, uh, my friend, do you understand a brotherly link in spirit? Well, let's get to school. I got like a brotherly love uh i i, I just sent this gentleman come in here now whether he may have been a good friend i don't want to get this wrong because i've got someone here i feel as though he's either a very good friend or like a brotherly feeling with him but do you understand this Oh, a brotherly love, like a, a friend, who, who you might say, well, perhaps I could understand him being a brother. I just get someone talking about this. And also as we talk about your dear friend, would you understand his parents in spirit? This is where we are. Right, wait a minute then. Because uh, David say here, I feel a little bit emotional with this. Because I'm being given here, your dear friend is the brotherly love we have. I believe here, my friend, that maybe you bounce off one another. You help one and help the other. If this isn't right, I want you to tell us. Okay, pretty good. But that's what I'm getting here. And from his parents in Loved Ones in Spirit, they're so pleased that you've been able to make and build something very spiritual between their son and yourself. Would you understand this? Right. Well, with a form of friendship or what you have together, 
I think is very special. That maybe you can confide uh, in each other and the trust, there must be something quite strong there because these, his parents are so pleased. And I want to say to you from them, God bless you. And I mean this in a spiritual way. Right? Let's just move us on again. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't, but do you understand why I see a, a, ch a chess board with you or drafts board game? Okay. This is what I'm being given here. I don't know what you like. I'm used to Well, I, I'm pretty good at drafts if I cheat. But if... This board comes in here, and that's been shown you here, and said here, you make the next move, <laughs> right? Because I feel here in a nice way here. <laughs> you say, uh, I, I want to make a move. See with you, my friend, and he little boy say here. He say, tell him, he move. If you don't move, you're stuck, and you wouldn't know if you win, win or not. See, so this comes in here. Uh, how do I feel? Would you understand, if you don't agree with us for this, you must tell us. Would you understand in very recent times you felt a little bit uplifted? Better than you have done? This is how I feel with you. And I don't know whether you believe in spirit healing I feel as though you've had been given comfort and just give you a little bit of a... I want to say here, we want to say, we feel as though your battery's been recharged. This is how I feel with this. So, uh, I don't know if you've got a Duracell or an Energizer, but that seems as though somewhere along the line, it's give you a little bit of a buzz. Are you with me? Also here, my friend... Uh, wait a minute. Would you understand someone who was fond of honey? Honey, a jar of honey. If you don't, you don't. But I'll give you this. I'm not telling you to go out and buy one, but honey has, has got healing properties in this. And this is what I feel with this. Little boy say, hey, little old lady come here for you. And he says, she carry a honey jar with the blooming great spoon. See? And she say, here, open up. Do you follow me? And this is what she's given you here. Uh, it's got a lot of healing priorities, but it, it comes in here in a nice way here. Money make you sweet. He tells me, uh, how are we if we said to you, you have a sweet tooth, and when uh, a cup of tea, you like plenty of sugar? That comes in here, good strong cup of tea. And this is, I feel, is very special with you. Keep you going. And also, just before I leave you, <laughs> uh, my friend, I don't know whether you're into corned beef or not, but I've got someone here making doorstep sandwiches. Yeah, you know, whacking that sandwiches and say, Hey, our boy, have some of that. They'll see you all day long. You might be a bit heavy at the front, but it's blooming good for you. And I feel a lady coming in here. Mom, come here, I better give you a love, keep you going. You see? And in a nice way here, uh, could we call you mum, mummy's boy? You wouldn't. Who's mummy's boy? It's, would you understand? I don't know if it's a, another brother or I've got a link with someone else in spirit. I feel it's very close here that comes in here and as we talk of mum, you place her in the spirit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't want to put it there. She's not there, but I just feel there's a sense she come here. And I feel mum, I think she's pretty good at everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Any cuts and bruises, go see mother. She'll sort you out. Don't panic. I feel she's a lady. She wouldn't have panicked. She's a bit laid back. I'll do it. 
don't worry about it. Do you know what I'm saying here? And she's quite a strong lady. I don't feel uh, as not certainly not as tall as me. I know she'd come up to about here, but I feel as though, my goodness, she is a tower of strength. And as we talk of this lady here, I feel here. Do you know why we would link here with either country conditions, farming or something like this? Who would have worked the land? If you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. All right, let's go move on. Because as we give your mum a toast, they want to give you a horse. See a horse, like a big old Suffolk punch. And the strength of a horse, I feel, my friend, has been given to you from spirit in the time of need. Would you understand this? And this is what it comes in. Most brutal horse, one horsepower. But by goodness, I think you could pull a railway truck, a lovely, a lovely animal, and he just comes in here. No one know a horse nudge you like this, push you. I feel as though, my friend, whatever you've been through, I think you've needed a nudge. And this is a spirit horse. No rider. You don't have to climb on him. You want a ladder. But he just comes in here, a friend for life. I'm going to leave that with you. And you take care. Right? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, may I talk to you, lady? Do I talk to you? You've got a smile, that's good. Lovely. If anything, you know, please don't throw anything at me, because if I duck and it hit him, we're in trouble. <laughs> so this is the main thing here. Comes in. Now, as we uh, come here, we're going to say to you, lady. Uh, okay. Lady, would you understand either he hearing spirit no, hear spirit. Is it, is it, if it ain't right, tell us. Yes. But I said, yes. little boy's here. She hear. Hey, hey, she did. So I don't know what you hear here. A spirit. Let's go with this. Uh, symbolically, would you understand if we said to you or your family, maybe your spiritual roots go deep? In other words, yes. This is what I need to... Little boy say, hey, lady, you like giant carrot. You've got a root, and you go into the earth like this. And in the earth, that's where you get the substance to grow. It's a seed of life. So I believe here that maybe you're part of your family was spiritual. That's it. I don't know, but that's why you say here. So anyway, <laughs> so spirit make all all different efforts, all different signs to contact us. If they can draw us to our attention, it's fine, because that's the work they do, just to let you know that they're very much alive and well, and love you to pits. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Now then, also here, lady, there's uh, <laughs> a gentleman come here. Now, I don't know if he's your granddad. We've all got granddads, otherwise we wouldn't be here. But in, in all fairness here, would you, someone give you a ride in a wheelbarrow? Yes. <sighs> because little boys say, hey, here come, wheelbarrow for you. He say, you're a big girl now for riding wheelbarrow. But that comes in here, it's a memory link here. I feel as though if it is linked with your granddad, this lovely man, I feel very comfortable with him. Do you understand me or not? Yes. I feel a very loving man. A man who I feel would have took his time, even the way he walked. He'd been a gentle, a gentle soul. This is what I... A gentle soul of life. This is what little, little boys say here. Uh, 
He say he been spirit for a long, long time. He say, but he lovely man. He say, uh, he say, uh, he spend lots of time with little children. He say he put me in a wheelbarrow. Spirit give him a ride, you see, and off they go. I feel he's a man. He's very much a family man. He would have brought his level down to a child like lovely vibrations. I feel here. And also here, lady, as we, t uh, when, do you know why we talk of Christmas crackers? Christmas crackers? Yes. That's it. Little boys say, hey, go, Christmas crackers. So, <laughs> but I just get this energy come here. I don't know. As we talk of the Christmas time, we know as a celebration of life. But w would you understand it in a spiritual way for you or around you? A memory? This is where we are. I don't know no more. I just get a little ray of light that comes here. Be with me. I have to be quick. What else? Oh, wait a minute. Lady. Uh, come on then. Lady. <laughs> Do you understand fairy dust? Yes. Hey, little boy, say, hey, fairy dust come here for you. See? This is what they throw to you. And I don't know whether you're into fairies, you may be, but this is how they come. Are you with me? Like all little lights, all little stars. Go on. Lady, uh, would you understand a little child in the spirit side of life? Yes. Ah. Uh, because uh, <clears throat> he's just given me a memory here of a little one in spirit. Are you with me? Yes. And I feel here, lady, gracious. I know we don't forget our family, but all little spirits are so important because he's telling me the little one hardly touched the earth plane. Would this be right or not? This is it. Because with, with the energy here, lady, I feel... I mean, we perceive spirit in lots of different ways, the angels and all sorts of things. Whatever we believe, it's entirely up to us. If we can accept it, fine well. Are you with me? Because there are many pathways. And we all perceive to search. And if we get our link, keep it, let it go. Talk of this little spirit here. Would you understand? This isn't right. I need you to tell us. Because I feel here, lady, you've been thinking about this little soul. This week, yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. This is what I'm being told here. And that energy that you've sent out has come back to you. To prove survival, I don't know you no more than you know me, but it comes back here in a lovely way just to prove that the little one has grown. Nothing is ever wasted because at the beginning, I believe conception, it's all has to do with energy and love and creation of life. Life is wasted. So this little I don't know if it's a little boy, but I feel a chit some to someone talk of a chair chair cherub chair cherub. Would you understand this? I hope it means something to you. I'm trying to give you this the best I can, or we have, but this comes over with you. So I'm gonna leave you with lots of love and thank you for coming here tonight. God bless. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Well, we don't finish here till 11. It's <laughs> worth <laughs> a while, I don't know we're going to in a moment. <laughs> Talk to you, lady. Are you fed up? No, I'm oh, I am, I'm blue fed up, I am. <laughs> but anyway, it comes in here. As we link with you, yeah. Ready? We all know Walt Disney cartoons, don't we? Walt Disney. Mm. Now then, we need to talk. Uh, let's get this right here now. <laughs> Would you understand if we said to you someone might be talking? Porky pies, lies. That's it. I want to get this so so right with you. It's important because he tells me here, lady. Oh, you know Pinocchio. This is my link with you. I'm not saying your news is going to grow, and I feel here someone is pushing the boundaries because. That's not so good, because you don't know where you are with someone who tell you lies. Let's get down to the reality of this, and it comes in here of awareness. I know that lady there has been made aware, but also for you, but I think you are aware, because sometimes I feel as though I may want to laugh with this, because it seems so sad, and another time, I think it's all right. Do you know what I'm saying here? We never know who's watching and who's following our footsteps. I get a lady come here. She is of your family. As we look, don't take offense to this, please. As we look at you, would you understand like you'd be like, Grandmother look alike. Yeah, that's it. That little boy say here hey, she look like him. It her. Sorry, let's get this right. Because this is why they comes in here. And this lady, she comes in here and the grandmother did link. And I feel as though in a nice way here. Enough is enough. Can you follow me? Enough is enough. How much more can you take before you put the brake on? And she comes in here, arms rolled her like this. Don't keep laughing. She comes in here like this, and she's looking at you. And I think you could become a very serious lady. What? That's all right. She can laugh for me for good laugh. Build the vibrations. But this lovely lady, and she's just standing here and say, my dear, you don't have to put up with it. The milky is best to be put back in the cupboard. Are you with me? Because Pinocchio, I feel, was very uh, like a puppet. Baby, would you understand this like sometimes he was he wanted to win a cup. You want to be the puppeteer. He win. And that comes away in a nice way. If then you might cut one strings. See? There you go. And if he go again, do you know what I'm saying here? And this comes in here. In a lovely spiritual way, just to say, you've got a lot to give, you have. I think you're really giver. And uh, <laughs> they say here sometimes you empty temple. See, you empty everything. But who's going to fill it? Who's going to replenish it when it's gone? So what you have, I think you have a lovely gift. Understanding the people. He tells me here your chat box. Chat, 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 chat. Is this right? Is this not? I don't know. So that's a good thing. 
because that build the vibrations and a nice someone to talk to. That's what I'm you know what I'm saying? I think you're a good listener. I wish you're a good listener. On a good ear. She can hear. So that's brilliant. And if we could all talk and unmoor to a certain degree, this is what this work is all about. Help to care. Maybe, I think we, maybe, but you know, caring for someone, caring, caring for someone, looking after someone, maybe. Here, you know. I think that's how you I want to say here your rod of iron. Your rod of iron. Strong. All weather work. Eh? All weather girl. That's what I want to say here. How in the weather should be there. So you're reliable, right? So I don't know. Can we put it on the point? Bicycle? What? No. You did ride. And I always say he's your bicycle. So you're blimmin' good if you go out in a four ten gale. Your determination, that's what you want. That's what Adam and wife and I come here for Monday. That's determination. We ride safe and sound. We ride be home, yeah? So we'll be home next week. That'll make a difference. But that comes in here. The smile on your face. It's worth everything. And just one more thing here. Don't be impressive about this, but I hope it means something to you. I understand a contact with someone who get very low or depressed, go down and dump. Because hey, little boy, uh, do you understand when the medication is a bit tricky? I feel as though I want to try and balance them up. Would you, would you follow me? Maybe so how they feel they're unpredictable. They feel it. You understand me? I feel as though spirit, I'm not saying we buy a little bit out of not saying that. But I feel as though we want to open them up a bit, see? So they feel better. The worst thing of all is being depressed and low, you need to come up. But I feel we'd like to send healing for you to give that off. It's so important to keep this flow. Right? Don't cut off in midstream. So you may be the messenger, you could be the healer, you could be the carer, the helper, or whatever. But it comes to you to say thank you for watching. <laughs> Also here, but to be quick, neighbors. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Here. You know the little dog uh, that he found was in the garden. Yeah. Oh, that's right. He, he said he'd come back. Here. He's full of muck. He's full of muck everywhere. He said he's buried. But he comes in here. I don't know. Little dog here. <laughs> I don't know if he's a terrier, but, but what do you want to say? I don't know, but he had a rough coat. Rough coat. Yeah. Hey, rough coat, little boy, say he stuck that old mud all over him. But he said, come back here, we strong. <laughs> so thank you for looking after him. <laughs> Leave it with you, okay? Well, friends, I think we can all agree. Um, the work of Kevin Hales has been an absolute honor and privilege to watch. Um, I'm going to ask Reverend Allen um, if he would like to join me again on screen to have a, a, a quick analysis there. Um, hello, Reverend Allen. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. And, and, you know, what an uplifting guy that Kevin was. And, to all intents and purposes, still is. I'm sure we have not heard the last of him. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm sure that he will 
rack up one night in little port and take us all by surprise absolutely um, such as the man was you, you know he was just such a um a beautiful energy and uh a, a great ambassador for for the for the spiritual um movement you, you know um the, the one thing that you know they do not come any more honest than kevin was yeah um, and it, it's been such a great honor and a pleasure to have taken part in tonight as well uh, for personally absolutely absolutely the one thing i i always uh remember about kevin is just how he has everyone rolling in the aisles no matter what and you're absolutely right alan um and i can see that it's uh likely that you're frozen um so i'll do what i can to fill in um yeah he he always had everyone rolling in the aisles with you know genuinely honest uplifting happy and you know clean humor as well for the most part and you know even if he did get a little bit sideways sometimes it was all you know extremely clean um uplifting and filled with laughter and yes um i'm very much aware thank you to mother um we had him booked for next month we actually were due to have him back uh in uh in may i'm sure he'll pay us a visit um i'm sure he will be back at some point uh but for everyone who's aspiring to develop their mediumship to develop their work for spirit you can't go far wrong than listening to the advice that kevin gave in his address and you know it must be a good one if i turn around and say i'm going to shut up and let someone else speak thank you so much to uh thank you so much to margaret for allowing us to share this this video tonight um unfortunately because of the uh, microphone issue uh that the sound got really really bad um after after that message but i do know he would say because i just about made it out when i was listening back keep on working for spirit keep fighting for spirit and keep doing what we're doing to bring kindness compassion and love to the world because it really does make a difference um thank you to everyone who's joined in today um shelly he is still going to come for his booking I, you know what he'll be on his bike um he's got a bit further to come this time so we'll probably have already got on it by now um making his way here and kaz yeah definitely um an absolute privilege to watch thank you all so very very much uh for being part of tonight um i'm not on my own again here he is alan <laughs> you're back <laughs> yeah I, i'm sadly my internet is not very good here yeah um, no, we get that you know so we do keep dropping out um but yeah what what's such an honor to to have taken part tonight absolutely and, uh, and yeah ad ad says uh thank you revnik for getting the permission to show kevin's work do you know what it wasn't difficult i literally sent a message to margaret and said this is what i want to do can i do it you go for it um nice. you know uh, uh margaret thank you actually i have to say that thank you for letting us yeah. um and uh, absolutely you know the the one thing about the pandemic uh, the one thing about the uh, online services that has been absolutely brilliant is that it gives us an opportunity to do this that might not have been there in the first place. Yeah, that's right. Um, I mean, you know, let's face it, pre pre pandemic, we we never used to record at all. No, no, absolutely, and and all, we, we'd have about ten minutes at the beginning of the service. Um, yeah. But then we'd, we'd shut off for the mediumship because yeah. mediums weren't always, you know, overly comfortable with me, you know, waving a camera in their face. I definitely think it's it's 
it's moved things forward. You know, it's one of the positives that we can uh, that we can take out of of that era. Yes. Um, you know, is is that it it sort of forced us, if you will, to to use the technology that was at our fingertips. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it; it was there for yeah. ages before. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, yes, um, Kaz says uh, thank you, Nick, for allowing us to watch your master at work. It is a privilege, Dawny. You are welcome. But absolutely agree. Thanks to Margaret as well. Yeah. Um, and Alan, thank you for coming on and, and, and sharing the night with with us. Pure all. pleasure. Pure pleasure and as always. It yeah. was so good to see Hannah looking a little bit more with the land absolutely, of the living as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. You know. Um, you know, it's been a very worrying time for her, for her parents, and, and to all intents and purposes, to us as well, because yeah. she was one of us, you know. She absolutely um, is. Um, such a beautiful, pure spirit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um, on to the notices, because actually, we're not in the hall next week either. No, it's bloody it is. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would get a rise out of you, Alan. However, we are going to do something a little bit. I say different. We're going back to the roots of the online church. We're going to have a full online service, medium guests, messages for everyone at home, all of the above. We're going to have a right royal um, uplift and and do it pandemic style. We're gonna we're going to bring Littleport Church back fully online for. Something went a little wrong there. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah. <laughs> Back very quick. Thanks to StreamYard for fixing that um, very, very quickly. Don't know what happened there. Just came up on the screen. Oops. Yeah. Uh, there you go. These things do happen. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I'll, 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 I'll get myself a, an internet booster for next week, I think. Um, but I'm, well, I'm, I'm using one, Nick, to believe, believe it or not, you know, and it, it's, you know, they're not, I think unless you're going to go out and spend a lot, a lot of money, um, they, 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 yes, they do, they are a, of limited improvement. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. I will, I will do. <laughs> Little, little, um, yes, I love that. <coughs> Kevin getting his own back, yeah, quite likely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, um, one of the things that I used to do in the village hall, um, when the signal was a bit poor, I used to get a big old roll of tea, it's actually still there, a big old roll of tin foil to direct the signal all the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, down to the front of the hall, and and Kevin was that that was that was actually one of the first weeks was when Kevin was there um, that I did that. That so um, yeah. yes, full online church next week. So uh, look out for details for that. Again, thank you to everyone for joining us tonight. Again, thank yeah. you, Alan, um, yeah, for, thank for you, keeping Nick, me company. You know, and and certainly great thanks to Margaret for allowing it. It was. Uh... You, you know, it was a fitting tribute to him. Absolutely. Absolutely. So from all of us here at Littleport Christian Spiritualists, nay, the Littleport <laughs> Christian Spiritualists Plus, um, it's good night from him. And good night from him. <laughs> God bless. <laughs>